Today, the most common method surgeons use to deal with excessive blood loss during surgery is the blood transfusion. However, just over 120 years ago, this was absolutely unimaginable. Doctors back then did try to inject blood into the human body to save the dying, but it often led to severe consequences. Most of these patients mysteriously died after showing symptoms such as fever, pain, or dark-colored urine. The low success rate left the doctors confused. It was not until 1900 that the renowned Austrian physician and biologist Karl Landsteiner discovered the secret of human blood groups. This scene under a microscope with a magnification of 400 shows what happens when we mix two different blood groups. The invaded blood quickly produces a large number of Y-shaped antibodies that attack the entering blood. This reaction results in blood coagulation and eventually death. By conducting a similar experiment, Karl Landsteiner figured out the reason for why blood transfusions failed so often. He went on to establish a blood grouping system. Landsteiner's research made it safe to transfuse blood between two people. Despite this discovery, blood transfusion technology did not become widespread straight away. In 1914, the outbreak of World War I and the use of new weapons caused unprecedented damage. At that time, people did not know how to preserve blood. So, transfusions could only be carried out on a one-to-one -one basis, and this was impractical on the battlefield. As a result, many wounded soldiers did not receive transfusions in time, and thus lost their lives. The brutality of this war facilitated scientific study. An exhibition on medical treatment in World War I is being held at the London Science Museum in Britain. One of the displays is a blood transfusion device used in the war. You've got three tubes going into this bottle. One of them and two needles. One of the needles is put into the donor, so blood comes out of the donor, goes into the tube with the preservative to keep it fresh. Then you take it to the patient, you put the other needle into them, and you pump away on that little pump there, and that forces the blood into the, the person who needs the blood. After the outbreak of World War I, professional blood preservation equipment was developed, making it no longer necessary to collect blood on the battlefield. Researchers also added sodium citrate to blood to preserve it and prevent coagulation. The injured could finally receive timely and effective blood transfusions, giving them the greatest chance of survival.